Welcome to another episode of Cloud Solutions Academy. I'm Naveen Balani. First of all, I'd like to thank you for all your comments and feedbacks and for liking and subscribing to this channel. Our aim is to deliver quality content over this channel. So let's get started with another episode. So in this episode, we'll be going through the deployment options supported by Google Anthos. The deployment options of Google Anthos can be primarily bucketed into three categories, habit deployment, edge deployment, and multi-cloud deployment. So let's start with hybrid cloud deployment. So many enterprises have built their infrastructure on-prem by employing virtualization technologies like VMware, vSphere, or having a host of physical servers. This is particularly true for enterprises where a lot of compliance and regulation exists and where customer data cannot cross the geographical boundaries or cannot reside in the public cloud. So these organizations are looking at multiple ways to be agile and deliver modern applications quickly. Now, based on their cloud adaption and transformation, the enterprises can be at various stages, such as infrastructure modernization, where they're looking at how they can consolidate and optimize the existing infrastructure. They'll be looking at app modernization, where they're looking at ways to modernize or evolve the existing application by moving towards cloud native applications for faster deployment and agility, or maybe extending the existing workloads to the cloud and looking at way to extend the on-prem infrastructure to cloud for better optimization, scalability, or running non-sensitive workloads. In each of these approaches, enterprises need a unified way to develop and manage applications at scale across on-prem and cloud environment. Now, based on what technologies the customer uses and where they are in the cloud journey, the customers can adapt to Anthos offerings. These are Anthos clusters on VMware, and Anthos cluster on bare metal. Now let's look at each of the offerings in detail. So let's look at Anthos clusters on VMware. Customers who have existing investments in VMware vSphere and want to leverage capabilities offered by the Anthos uh, Google Kubernetes engine, create, manage, and deploy container applications, or migrate the on prem virtual machines to native containers, can start with Anthos clusters on VMware offering. This could be a good starting point. To consolidate and modernize the existing infrastructure where containers can reside on prem and be managed effectively using the same lifecycle of Anthos clusters and later migrate the required applications to cloud. New development workloads like non sensitive compute can be moved to the cloud and be optimized through auto scaling. Now, the entire infrastructure can be managed through a centralized dashboard and security policies can be rolled out to GKA clusters hosted on-prem and on-cloud for any data governance and compliance requirements. Enterprises can also use Migrate for Anthos tool. It helps you to convert virtual machines to containers that can be deployed directly to Anthos clusters. So in a nutshell, Anthos clusters on VMware runs in your data center in a vSphere environment and allows you to create, manage and upgrade GK clusters on your on-premises environment and at the same time gives you a migration path to move your workloads to the cloud by adapting cloud native applications or extend the workloads to the cloud for better optimization and scalability and above all managing everything in a unified way. In a future session we will go about describing the Anthos clusters on VMware in detail and also carry out a lab session where we would install Anthos clusters on VMware. Next we look at Anthos clusters on bare metal. Anthos clusters on bare metal provides an ability for enterprises to deploy container applications directly on their own hardware infrastructure. Anthos clusters on bare metal can be directly installed on the supported hardware operating system without the overhead of any virtualization. Anthos clusters on bare metal can be centrally managed using the Google Anthos dashboard and leverage the same monitoring and logging capability through cloud monitoring. This gives the same unified capabilities of managing and monitoring Anthos on the cloud with improved performance, security costs, and direct control of the application running inside your own enterprise infrastructure. Now, the next deployment model I like to talk upon is edge deployment. Now, for customers who are looking to build and deploy cloud native applications that require data and compute to be located closer to the end users, provide real time, ultra low latency, and immersive experience or on resource constrained hardwares can deploy Anthos applications directly on their own hardware infrastructure using Anthos clusters on bare metal offering. 
And if you look at the future generation of applications, it would drive new set of requirements like new real time decision making, ultra low latency, streaming requirements, gaming and virtualized experience, and the whole notion of collective intelligence where human sense system would learn from each other. For instance, industrial automation would require applications to be deployed closer to factories for real-time monitoring and control or use of augmented virtual reality for automation and maintenance. Take another example of connected car solution in future where data needs to be analyzed at real time for various use cases like driver behavior analysis to predictive maintenance all would require edge computing to provide true connected experience. Now with Anthos on bare metal all the use cases that I described becomes a reality where you can extend existing hybrid or multi-cloud model on the edge to provide computing and central management of edge clouds through a unified way. Even if you're not building edge applications currently, you could still design applications so that it can be easily migrated to an edge deployment in future using Anthos. The last deployment model I'd like to talk upon is multi-cloud deployment. One of the strategic decisions that enterprise needs to take is how they can be cloud agnostic due to various drivers that includes cost model, customer affinity towards a particular cloud vendor, ability of cloud regions, disaster recovery strategy, or for various compliance and regulation reasons. Now Anthos with support for multi-cloud gives enterprise the flexibility to deploy applications on multiple cloud and at the same time manage the environment across cloud holistically and also ensure all security and data governance is taken care of through the use of policies and central config management. We have gone through the architecture of Anthos config management in our episode 2 on how it provides central governance and validation of policies across environment. Now with respect to multi-cloud, Anthos is currently supported on AWS with Azure support currently in preview. Even though multi-cloud support may not be a current priority for your enterprises, in my view, enterprise should adapt cloud native applications and principles so it can help transition to multi-cloud environment seamlessly based on future requirement. In this way, enterprise can be multi-cloud ready. Now to summarize, with Anthos, you get a unified development and deployment experience across environments and a single management view to manage your multi-cloud environment. So this concludes our session. Hope you found the information useful and please do subscribe to the channel to receive regular updates. Thank you for watching.